It doesn't look like it from the outside, but zebrafish actually share 70% of its genes with human, and that increases to 85% when we're talking about genes that are related to human diseases. The female lay her eggs directly in the water where it can then be fertilized by the male. Because they develop outside of the mom, that allows us to collect the newly formed embryo. We can then put them under a microscope and look at how they are developing life. In the case of zebrafish, within the first 24 hours, we can actually see all the major tissues and organs develop in front of our eyes. Another thing that we can do with those freshly collected embryo is to inject specific tools that will then turn off individual genes. By turning them off, we can see an embryo that lacks those genes. How do they develop? Do they develop correctly or do they develop the defects? By studying this fundamental transition occurring early on in embryogenesis, we will be able to better understand when it goes wrong in human and leads to developmental defect and diseases what went wrong specifically at the molecular and cellular level, and that is really the first step to be able to develop therapeutics and future treatment.